All right, let's talk about rounding for multiplication and division. So this is a different rules than addition and subtraction because with that one, you what are you counting? You are counting decimal places. On the other hand, when it comes to multiplication and division, you are counting significant figures. So for this example, where you multiply these out to get this, how many you got to count how many sig figs in each answer. So this number has one, two, three, four, five significant figures because zero counts as a sig fig if it's between non-zero numbers. So that's five sig figs. One, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. Trailing zeros count when there's a decimal, so six significant figures. And this one, leading zeros don't count when you got a decimal. Or actually, just in general, leading zeros just don't count. So it's just three significant figures, just these right here. So you got to count how many sig figs in each number. Of the three numbers used, which one has the fewest significant figures? The 0 0.0839 has the fewest significant figures. How should you find and round your final answer? Should it have the same number of sig figs as the number with the most, or the same, or the fewest sig figs? It should have same as fewest. Since this has only three sig figs, your answer should only have three significant figures. So that's why there's three significant figures there. Notice how the final answer is boxed. Make sure you do indeed. So write out that I will always box the final answer every time using all capital letters. And then we can move on to looking at what you should get for here. So your raw unrounded answer 75.480 divided by 25.38197. So, and I'm just double checking to make sure I got it in there. 25.38197. Okay. Yeah, that's the raw calculator answer. So that is uh, 2.97376. Four, 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 eight. How many significant figures in each number? So in order to know how to round that, you look at this, count one, two, three, four, five significant figures. And then you look at this number and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant figures. Means you should have a final answer with just five significant figures. It should have the same number of sig figs as the final one. So five sig figs, that's one, two, three, four, five. This seven is the last fifth significant figure. It's next to a six, so you round up, because if it's next to five or above, you round up, no matter what number it is. So that's 2.9738. That gives it the right number of significant figures. So this is how you should round the answer to the number that comes out when you do this. All right, next. The way you're going to show your work, you write your raw unrounded answer, draw an arrow pointing to the final answer, box it, and then write how many sig figs for each number. That way we see your thought process. All right, let's go through it. 3.14 times 5.6 is 17.584. This has two sig figs, this has three sig figs. We're going to round it two significant figures, which means we're just going to round it to 18. So that's how you do it. Make sure the number of sig figs is outside the box. All right, and we'll actually add sig figs to it as a label. Yes, you can use this abbreviation for significant figures. All right, moving on to this right here. This is your hint. Include parentheses anytime you do math involving scientific notation. 3.000 times 10 to the negative second. Let's see, I should make sure that it's visible what I'm doing as I do that. So 3.000 times 10 to the negative second. Close parentheses times, open parentheses, 1.06 times 10 to the power of 1. All right, there we go. So 0. 3, 1, 8. 
We could put in scientific notation, or we can choose not to. It's fine either way, um, because this number is within the range of numbers you're allowed to use not scientific notation for. This is going to be four significant figures. Yes, that's four sig figs. This is three significant figures. So that means your final answer just actually stays the same. You don't need to change the rounding. Okay, so just because you round some calculator outputs doesn't mean you round it every single time. Sometimes your calculator gives you something that's just fine. So let's move on. So 0 0.059... 0 0.059 times 6.95 gives that 0 0.41005. And uh, let's see, what is that? That is two significant figures. This is three significant figures. We better round this to two sig figs, 0 0.41. All right, 80 divided by 0.675. So you get that, 118.518.5185. All right, let's see. That is one significant figure because there's no decimal. This is three significant figures, so you better round to one sig fig. That one right here, this hundred, is next to a one, so it rounds down, so it just becomes a hundred. Yep, that's what it rounds to. All right, onward. Point zero three zero zero three zero point zero zero three zero divided by a hundred and six. All right, that's a super small number. You know what? It doesn't look good to have that many zeros. So, oh, let me show what I just did right there. Second function, science engineering, change to scientific mode, and then you have this now. So 2.83018867.9 times 10 to the negative fifth. So, okay, well, we're going to have to round that for sure. Uh, two significant figures here, three significant figures here. Round to two sig figs, that's 2.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Uh, that would be, uh, let's see, I'm running out of room on the bottom, I'll just put it on the side. Two sig figs. All right, onward. 8.5 divided by that. 8.5 divided by 0.3. Five, six. I've still got it in scientific notation mode. Put it back to regular mode right there. Uh, all right, 23.8764044449. Two sig figs, three sig figs, round to two sig figs, that's just 24. All right, here. Oops. 12.8 times 5.2, 66.56, three sig figs, two sig figs, round to two sig figs here, so this becomes 67. All right, onward. 100 times 8.57. That's actually easy, that's 857. But um, what does that round to? Three sig figs, that decimal makes it three, and then 8.57, that's also three sig figs, so you round to three sig figs, which means you just leave it as was. 857. All right, let's see. 5.0, oops, 5.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, close parentheses divided by 538. And you get that, which we will convert to scientific notation. 9.29368297 times 10 to the negative eighth power, which we will then round to, this is two sig figs, this is three. 
So we're going to round that one to, uh, let's see, 9.3 times 10 to the negative 8th. This right here is uh, the next one we're going to deal with, 6,008 times 8.724, 5.2413792 times 10 to the 4th. That's a big enough number. We definitely can't write that as just a regular number anyway. So we round that to four sig figs. Four sig figs, four sig figs, 5.241 times 10 to the fourth. All right, let's do these next couple. I made a mistake on uh, the original version, so I printed out a new one here and had to fix a typo. So what happens when you have this? So let's look at 72.0 divided by 12. The calculator says 6. However, we have to be aware of something. The answer is not going to be 6 because the number sig figs here is 3, the number sig figs here is 2. We need to round 6 to having two significant figures, which means we're going to call it 6.0. That way we can show the correct number of significant figures based on what we started with. All right, and finally, let's look at the 600 divided by 38. Now, we should understand this is one sig fig, and 38 is two sig figs, meaning that your final answer will be rounded to one significant figure. So let's look at the, what that would come out to be. So 600 divided by 38 equals that whole mess, 15.789475. And that, of course, gets rounded to one significant figure. So you start here. This is your first significant figure. This one is next to a five, so it rounds up to a two and just becomes 20 because it needs to keep its value. It's in the tens place, so it's the nearest 10. Or, yeah, it's in the tens place. So it's the second one over. So, uh, well, that's it. You just box size your final answer. And then, of course, you got to state how many significant figures this is. This is one sig fig because it doesn't have a decimal. If it did have a decimal, that'd be two. All right, that's how you do that one.